Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a really quick video. Hi. Um, showing you guys how I clean my makeup brushes. Because I'm getting ready to clean all mine right now. So, first off, just ignore the fact that my sink is gross because it's my roommate's, not me. And um, let's just get started. I already filled this. This is just a plastic, um, like a microwavable container. I filled it with warm water, and I already put some of this soap in. This is, um, Dr. Broner's Magic Soap, and this is the, this is the lavender scent. I've used quite a bit. I've had this for almost a year now, though, so you only need, like, a couple squirts of this. And pretty much what I do is I just take all my brushes like so and I just kind of dip them in the water and let them sit alongside my um, sink just to kind of let the soap sink in, I guess, something like that. I don't know if that really makes any difference, but... I just prefer to do it that way to make sure all of it gets soapy. Sorry if the camera's shaky. I'm the only one at the house, so I have to hold the camera and wash my brushes at the same time, which is a little difficult. I'm going to move these over here because I need to sit my camera on that side. And then whenever I get to my beauty blenders, I pretty much just put them in the water, squeeze them so that the soap sinks in, and I let them kind of just sit. Then I am going to sit my camera down. Hopefully this works out. And I'll um, show you guys really fast what I do with just the first brush. And then um, I'll come back at the end and show you what I do. So pretty much I just take my brush and um, work it into a lather. It'll be all like brown and gross. And then I usually run it through the water. And when the water kind of comes out of the brush clean like that. I just squeeze it out like so. I'm using this Nexus conditioner. It's just a little sample size that I have. And I put a little bit in my fingertips like so. And then I put it on my brush hairs. And then I just sit it aside for about three minutes. And then I will be back to show you the rest. I'm going to go ahead and rinse all the brushes clean, put conditioner on them, and then I'll be right back. All right, so after I've let the conditioner sit on my brushes for about three minutes, I um, rinse my brushes clean with cold water. I kind of just feel around to make sure that all the sliminess kind of from the conditioner is out because you definitely don't want to leave any conditioner in your brushes on accident because they'll be gross and it will basically completely um, defeat the whole purpose of washing it in the first place. So I just make sure they're completely clean and then I, keeping the brush pointed down so you don't get water into the handle, keeping the brush down, squeeze all the water out, and then I lay them out on a towel to air dry on top of the sink. So just rinsing the brush clean. Making sure all the conditioner is out of the brush. 
keep it pointed downward and um, just squeeze all the water out. Um, I will say I really love the Dr. Broner soap. It's the only thing I found that will get the stains out of my like white bristle brushes like this and to get the, the foundation out of my beauty blenders nothing else really um, has worked for me besides that not even the beauty beauty blender cleaner doesn't work for me so I really love the Dr. Brunner soap it's really versatile it's all natural um, I think I heard about it on Dulce or Dulce Candy's YouTube channel and um I went to Target, got it, and I'm obsessed with it. I also use it like once a month in my hair just at the roots because it's really clarifying. It's like, it's the kind of shampoo or soap that gives you that like squeaky clean feeling. And I think that's why it cleans brushes so well. So I clean, just I use it just to kind of clean up build up on my hair head too or my head hair too <laughs> but um that's pretty much it as far as how I clean my brushes I just kind of leave them sit on the sink like this um, on top of a towel um, if I come in the bathroom and think about it I'll flip them over it's not really a big deal if you don't but I do it because they seem to dry a little faster that way um, I hope this video was helpful to you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.